Hello everybody and welcome to this first video on the Bamboo Fox CTF. Today we're going to be taking a look at the reversing challenge how to decompile. The description goes as follows. What is the file and how to reverse it? And uh, we get one artifact which is a file named decompile. Alright, so let's download that file, which I've already done. And let's take a look at it. So file decompile. Uh, I already named it PyC because if you look at it, it's a Python 2.7 uh, byte compiled file. Um, so how do you decompile this? Well, a simple Google search will get you the answer. So decompiling Python 2.7 byte compiled, uh, a stack overflow thread, and it mentions uncompile 6 and uncompile 2. I am familiar with uncompile 2, so that's what I used, but I have no doubt that uncompile 6 also work, works. So if you go to their GitHub, it's very easy to install. You just clone the repository with git clone and then the URL. And then you just go into that um, directory you just cloned and do python setup.py install. And then you have uncompile2 installed. So let's run uncompile2. So uncompile2. Let's do a help to see if we installed it correctly. Yes, we did. So then you just do uncompile2. And then the file you want to uh, uncompile, so that was this one. And as you can see, it, it uncompiles perfectly. And we have some Python code. So I put that in a file, in a Python file right here. So now we can start actually reversing this code. Uh, so we have this these restrictions, um, just a bunch of characters, on, uh, all lowercase, some underscores. Um, we see that the file is going to ask us for a um, an input. It's going to lower our input, and then it's going to check if the length of our flag is equal to the length of the restrictions. If that's not, we're wrong. So the flag is going to be this long, uh, and then it's going to loop over our flag, and uh, if our flag is not lowercase or an underscore, it's going to say wrong. Or if uh, if that character of our flag is not that, it's going to say it's wrong. Or if our character of that flag is equal to any one of the characters in here uh, in, in the position that our flag is also in. For example, um, in the, on the first loop, this is going to be zero. Zero, and it's going to check if the zero or the first character of our flag is equal to uh, the first character of any of these strings. If that's not the case, then we move on to the next. So then we're going to do that for the first one. So uh, what you should have noticed from that is that your flag or any character of your flag can't be uh, in that position uh, in this uh, restrictions array. And if you count it, or list rather, if you count the amount of things in here, it's going to be 26. So with the underscore, we have an alphabet of 27. There's 26 characters each time, so we are able to figure out what exactly our character is. So uh, I wrote a short script for that, which is pretty much it's going to loop over uh, the first, over, over every character in, in these um, in this list, and uh, it's going to pretty much remove them from our alphabet if we find them. So it's first of all, it's going to start with the U. It's going to remove that from our character set, and then it's going to move on to the F. It's going to remove that, the D, da, 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 on and on. So that way we can every time we can find out which character the actual flag uh, was. Uh, we add that to our flag, and we go and do it again for the next one. So that's going to be U again, underscore S, blah, 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 and we get another character and so on. So that's how we enumerate all the characters. Um, and then if you run that, you're going to get past all of this code pretty much. And then we have this last part, which is pretty much just going to uh, capitalize some of the characters in our flag. I pretty much just copy paste that and, and put it in my script here. So it's going to run that code and it's going to print out the solution. So let's actually run that python tree solve.py and there we have it we get our flag i think this was a pretty cool challenge um pretty easy if you ask me but 
uh, it was fair for people that didn't know that Python actually compiles, because a lot of people don't realize that. But uh, yeah, really cool challenge. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.